Ciao! If you don't know me, I am Nikos Balboa, and this is Balboa Park. I am a trans man, Italian, but living in France for more than 20 years. And uh, I have a teen daughter, but I'm a mom. I'm a tattoo artist and I create graphic novels in Italy and in France. And in this podcast, I want to talk about the creative process as a way of self-knowledge. If this sounds appeal to you, welcome to episode 28. We are back after one unannounced summer break because I realized while leaving it that actually I needed a break. And today, for the first time, I'm recording this podcast in video, not just audio, still from my little studio, which is uh, my bedroom. <laughs> um, I'm here today because I want to share something that struck me from a book I'm currently listening to on Audible. The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. Especially, there is a chapter about self-doubt that really gave me the fuel I needed to start recording again. And I want to share that with you to keep my inspiration going. And maybe also because if you experience self-doubt, this may be useful to you. Rubin inside align with how I approach my own creative practice and work with also with the Graphic Journal Club. So let's talk about this chapter. There are five top key points from uh, this chapter on self-doubt that I want to share with you and let me know in the comments which ones resonate with you more. First one, self-doubt as a part of growth. Doubt surface when you are venturing into new creative territory. It's a sign that you are growing. And doubt as a tool because Rubin encourages seeing self-doubt as something to work with, not against. It sharpens creative instinct and helps redefine ideas. Self-doubt is not a barrier, but a compass. Instead of fearing self-doubt, use it to navigate and push your work into new spaces. Number four, embrace imperfections. Doubt is often tied to the fear of imperfections, but Rubin suggests that perfection isn't the goal. Creative expression is. And about this, he also says that often we do like when we do a a work of art or a work of creativity. Um, we do something and then we like it, but we want to make it perfect and we do a second version of it. Whether this is a painting or whether this is a song or whatever, oft it, can, it may happen that the second version, the more perfect one, lacks something. This because the work of art is not about perfection, but communication. Number five, curiosity over fear. When doubt arises, replace fear with curiosity. What can this feeling teach you about your process? So there you have it. Self-doubt, instead of being an enemy, can actually be the spark that pushes you to grow. Whether it's in journaling or your art practice, but even in your life, let's learn to embrace it. And that's it for today, but if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a five-star review. Very sincere, very mindful, very demure. <laughs> the thing is, it helps the podcast to keep going and also let me know uh, that I'm not just talking to myself here. Thanks for hanging out with me in my bedroom and uh, I'll see you at the next episode.